Hello everybody, my name is Eric and today we're going to be talking about another situation with a supply chain issue with a mouse software. This is coming from Attack Shark, which seems to be some small Canadian company that makes mice. I've personally never heard of them, but someone tagged me saying, hey, could you check this? And this is something I like to look at, because this is terrible if it's true. And what I saw was a Reddit post that was utterly alarming. We can actually go to... We can go to all slash mouse review. I don't know why this VM is running so terribly. We can see it here. Now, weird that um, this company must be actually be quite popular because I'm seeing quite a few posts on here. So here is a virus total scan with g3prosoftware.exe and an utterly alarming thing. Now, the moment I saw dot comment, I decided, you know what, we're just going to go, and this is why I haven't done this on a prep. We're going to record this right now. We're going to get this out as quick as possible because this is utterly insane if this is true that's a rat so that 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 can be i i don't even mean to exaggerate when i say uh, getting ratted can be a life ruining or life altering situation Let's see where do we find the support for driver downloads uh okay i want the g3 pro where's the pro it's probably all of them honestly it's probably all of them we can try g3 mouse right mouse I only see a G3 on here. Okay, well, let's see what the G3 software is. And interestingly, we do have the same file name as the G3 Pro software, so that's that would give this a bit of credence. So we're going to upload this one, and if this isn't right, I'm just going to try and guess the file name so we can download the malware. The icon looks right, and this one... Okay, so this one's real. So then where did... Let's see if we can just copy and paste the name. Now, I don't think this was an intentional, and here is g3prosoftware.exe. Now, mine is 7.5 megabytes, virus totals is 7.5 megabytes. So it does seem uh, like this is here, and it is on their CDN, so I don't think this is an intro. Yep. So let's throw this onto the AnyRun sandbox, just a 1 million X check that there's not some incredibly wacky false positive that I, I don't think is even possible. But you know, we, we, we always like to check. And you like to watch malware go off. If you watch this channel, why else would you be subscribed? You like to watch malware. So we're going to try it out for you. So I, I'm going to make this public. Uh, we, we don't need all the features right now. We're just going to see... Uh, kind of a sanity check i mean if this and if this is what i think it is we, we're gonna do a deep dive because this is insane so oh snap how do we get another snap tick study xc and we've already got the back door x shred installer delphi so is this some other weird file in factor does every gaming mouse company just do the whole turn off windows defender run as administrator like what is it i i think i we talked before about how in general, the gaming community doesn't seem to care enough about cybersecurity, which in many ways is equally bad to enterprise, because people play games generally on their main computer, which means their whole life can get honed. You can ask Matt Van Andel, uh, whose tragic story, you know, that can happen to you. So this seems to be infected where we seem to be getting a real attack shock driver and that seems to be coming from that underscore and then we're getting this snaptix.exe which is getting an x shred hit so let's see if the c2 is live because that was the one good thing for okay these are google domains drive.user content i'm gonna I, I think we should rerun this with uh mitm proxy to see if we can find out but this is looking a bit concerning but this is does seem to be the same type of malware as in the endgame gear situation. But how like how does this even keep happening? Now are we getting any have we caught anything from Snaptex.exe so far? First of all, we see a DNS fray.org. That seems to be dead. Let me start pinging a Google server, and that's what I'm kind of curious about. What are we doing with a Google server? So we get a uh, so we go here and it would seem is that down see other 303 let's just try this so microsoft has said this is an unsafe site okay so it does seem that the main c2 addresses here have been shut down we can see okay and there's persistency and this seemingly 
has been scanned up to a month ago with the exact same hash. So the pro version is has the malware. The non-pro doesn't. So where's the same? Right here. Yep, this is not a false positive at all. Yeah, I, I actually, I, I should, like, once I'm done filming this, I'm going to log on to Reddit and just make it clear to people, not a false positive. I download that a thousand times. That's the problem is, and, and unfortunately, I can't totally hate these people because it's like, yeah, antivirus scanning, not in a great place, not great at detecting malware, not great at not detecting innocent software as malware. But in this case, this is 100% malware. Now, far as we can tell in a very quick analysis, C2 seems to be dead, so I don't know how much damage there is to be done with this. Seems to be a repeat of what happened with Endgame Gear, which... It's totally unacceptable because there, there are two ways this can happen. And I, I believe this is going to be uh, the first way I'm going to explain, which is this seems to have file infecting properties. It's a file infecting worm. So if you have zero security, right, we can see every, every, every vendor detects this. Microsoft's Windows Defender detects it. Um, there, there's like, these are meme grade products. Like every serious product, if you have safe download in Chrome, that'll protect you. Like this is not stealthy APT malware. This is if you don't go out of your way to disable Windows Defender for an extra two FPS, this will not affect you. Companies that are doing this, it's just staggering. And I, I personally, I, I would never trust them again. Up to you, what you want to do here. So one possibility, right, is that happened. It's file and factory it got installed on the admin's computer, and they uploaded this thinking it was the legit driver software, which it does also drop. That's a possibility. That's the best case. Other possibility is either this was compromised, like their the systems were infiltrated, which I, I don't think is the case. I don't think that's true. Or I'm just trying to see where we even find this G3 Pro thing. The other possibility would be, I guess, they intentionally did it. That that's just not true. That just didn't. I I, I don't mean to stand up for them, but like companies, th there's no incentive for a company to do that. They make far more money selling mice than they would ratting you, and especially with an old dead rat. These companies need to take security seriously, whatever it would cost them. And I mean, it wouldn't even have to cost them anything because Windows Defender would have stopped this. But whatever it costs, deploy a business grade cybersecurity system is much better than the humiliation that this will cost you and this could cost you your business it should honestly i just it bothers me when companies do this because they're putting their users in danger for no good reason so let, we could check if there's any other new releases are they also infected so this seems to be the latest thing they've come out with was it software for it of course i'm verified cuz See, and that's why I can download this, because this is a malware analysis VM and we have those features turned off, right? We would never, like, if I downloaded this on my main, like, non-VM computer, oh, weird, that one's a lot bigger. It wouldn't even work. That's what's confusing me here. What's a web driver in this context? I don't know why I'm getting a translation request. What on earth is this? Oh, this was... Okay, now I'm really confused. This seems to be some sort of Chinese website. I, I don't understand what this has to do with keyboards. I, I don't use like, like an RGB keyboard, but I I have used like RGB keyboards in gaming hardware before in the past, and like I've never seen this. Uh, Q okay, come to quantum mechanical kit. Hmm, actually cool though. So it seems like it can connect. So who is quantum mechanical kit? So it seems to be, this seems to be a legit thing and probably what you should use if you're going to download any, if you have anything from this company. I should clarify that the hardware is fine as far as we can tell, unless there's some pre-baked drivers in there. It's just the software and the website. And I mean, if their cybersecurity is so bad that malware is just circulating around their system. I guess there's one other way this could have happened, which is given this is similar to the end game, I almost wonder if maybe for some sort of hardware testing, they tested the end game, or they had an end game gear product and they downloaded their software and assumed it was false positive, which, I mean, this is a well-designed payload because you could easily, you could think uh, this is false positive because the software works. Okay, so now we go and we're going to upload this one to virus total. Interestingly, it still doesn't have the icon. Does that mean it's not real? 
We're going to find out. Also, it doesn't have the digital signature. Though it doesn't say it's Snaptic, so maybe this one's real. Okay, we're looking... Uh, looks like we're good. Good thing about X-Red, 100% detected. You really, unless you were fooled into thinking this is a false positive, you don't have to worry about this if you have any antivirus. If you have Windows Defender, you don't have to worry. Uh, if you have a Balanced, if you have Bitdefender, Kaspersky, uh, McAfee, literally anything you will, e ESET, like any anything that you could be using. Uh, I, if you, for some reason, removed all of your security software, Emisoft Emergency Kit is free and it can fix it for you. And given the C2 doesn't seem to be up, you know, I, I wouldn't put this on the level enough to reinstall Windows. I wouldn't panic to that level. I would just go, if you downloaded this, installed it, I would go to Emisoft. And I believe an antivirus program can even disinfect it so that you can still use it. So this is, so it is fixable. That's the good news. Bad news is unacceptable. You're lucky this was not a more live payload. Absolutely cannot happen. You know, if you're running a business, you need to keep your customers safe. If you ship malware, you are putting your customers in profound danger. If you have an unsecured system, whether it's an unsecured file server or an unsecured computer that is used to administrate that file server, I don't care which one it is, each is just as bad. Uh, you really need to look into this. And what else is insecure at this company? Is it possible that an info stealer can just get all of the customer's data? Why would we trust that it isn't? I hope this will be the last time that I will ever make a video about this happening. <laughs> I, I really do. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I, I, I never thought I'd be making a second one. Hopefully I won't make a third. I will be interested to see the statement from Attack Shark. Probably won't make another video about this unless they say something really interesting or really dumb. It could always happen. Uh, I, I really don't know what to say here. So that's going to be all for me for now. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I couldn't recommend buying from this company. I do hope they'll fix the situation and maybe after a period of time, you know, if they come out with a good response, maybe I, I would personally not trust their software. That's all for me for now. Bye.